With just a slip of a clip, I almost broke a hip. Hey guys, Scary Barry coming at you. Hey, listen, we're going to try something a little bit different today. This is a voiceover video, right? Too bad I don't sound like, uh, what's his name, James Earl Jones? No, I am your father. Man, if I sounded like that, I'd be doing voiceovers for a living, right? Guys, I almost always, always have video running when I'm flying. I just, I just always have video on. I don't always have audio connected, though which is what happened on this night. Um, I just kind of went up and was just enjoying the skies and flying around. I don't always share my videos with you guys. I'm not always making a video every time I fly. I am glad though that tonight at least I did have the video running so I can share with you guys exactly what happened that caused the engine issues that brought me out of the sky. Now I've had several engine outs since I've started flying and, and I always fly, I always have a safe out on the ground. I always fly like the engine's going to stop running at any time. And as long as you've got that safe LZ picked out on the ground when that engine dies, it's really not a big deal guys for paramotor pilots. This is actually more of an inconvenience than anything. Now on this night I did spend some time up high watching that sunset, which to me guys is just absolutely amazing. And I also spent some time doing my most favorite type of flying, down low and slow. The problem with flying down low though is your safe landing options may be a bit limited depending on what's underneath of you in case you would have an engine out or something like that. Okay, so this is it. Keep an eye on that throttle hand guys and you'll see boom just like that I went from hero to zero. Peed my pants a little bit, got out of the seat, get ready for that power out emergency landing. And touchdown right about now. Bam. Now listen to that engine. Boom, right now, so you can hear the engine let go, it cleared down to idle, but luckily if you look down below me, I had plenty of safe space to land, so that's what I was doing, just concentrating on bringing it in and landing it safely. Look at that, like a boss. So once you're on the ground, about a million things go through your mind, you know, but you say, I'm not hurt, the equipment's not hurt, everything looks fine, but the only thing you're worried about right now is getting out of that, getting out of that harness, checking out the motor, and just see if you can figure out what happened. There she is, the little dude that brought me out of the sky. I didn't even think to check that on my pre-flight, right? But uh, we'll go into more detail what just happened there here in just a second. Here comes my good buddy Graham. At least he did a flyby. He did a check to make sure I was doing okay. But as you can see, the fact of me being grounded and stuck didn't have anything to do with him not being able to have a good time. He still did just fine. So I got everything packed up and headed back on my broken down, lonely walk of shame. I'm only a couple miles from the house, but it seems further with a busted paramotor and a broken heart. Luckily, I've got an awesome wife, guys. She come pick me up. Yep, Mrs. Scary Barry saved the day for me on this one. So with a little luck, I was able to get that dude to fit in that uh, little smart car there. And uh, hey, sure beats walking, right, guys? So after a short ride and some strange looks from some folks on the road, I was able to get the old tornado back to the uh, old workbench so I could take a better look at it. But old Scary Bear ain't no quitter, guys, especially when there's a perfectly good fresh freeze paramotor sitting in the garage. So I got that dude buckled up and strapped in, man, and I launched it and uh, was able to enjoy what little bit of daylight I did have left after getting that tornado back. Uh, gotta get my sky therapy in, guys. So what exactly did go wrong? Can you guys spot it there? Do you see what it is, what happened? Let's go into a little more detail with that. Let's, let's talk more about it. And all right, there she is. There's the, the culprit, right? There's the thing that caused all the issues, guys. So I'm gonna show you where it goes. This is a carburetor, a uh, second carburetor I got laying around. So I'm gonna show you where it would fit here. This right here is the uh, linkage where it connects to the throttle, you know, where you give it gas. That's that right there. This piece slides right inside of there. This clip, guys, is what came off. This clip sticks into there which holds this piece on. So what happened in flight was that clip fell off, which caused this to fall off, which caused 
no throttle response. There was nothing any longer hooked to the throttle. So that's what happened, guys. Uh, just went down to idle. I had no climb. I had anything. I, the engine kept running. It just, it just, uh, I was at idle. So obviously I came down and landed, which you've seen in the video. Everything worked out okay. No worries. Um, it, this is kind of strange, though. This little piece right here, I thought I lost forever. It fell off of here. It fell out. And after I got home, even after, even after the landing in the cornfield, walking the road, uh, putting it in the car, riding home with it, putting it on the bench, this piece was still sitting on the engine, right? So it did not get lost. This is the actual piece right here. So I, I since now I dropped it, now it's lost. Maybe it's just destined to get lost. I don't know. This little clip right here, this was the culprit. That's what did it. So double check that on your machine. It's just another thing I want to add on to the, uh, the pre-flight, I guess. You know, the, the little things like that you don't think about. And I sure didn't think about that clip coming off of that throttle, that throttle linkage. So, but it happened and I'm going to check it every time I fly now. I can guarantee you that. So I guess that's it for now. I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys. I'm glad I at least I had the cameras running even if there was no audio. If you're going to take away anything from this, it was just always to have a safe place to land. That's the second engine I've had, second engine out I've had on that tornado. And both times I was able to land safely. So it's just a matter of always having it in your mind. Uh, where am I going to land if this motor quits running? Because it probably will at one point in your in your flying in your flying time, your flying career, if you want to call it, you will have an engine out, guys. It's just uh, hopefully you're prepared for it and you're in a safe place where you can land and you've, you've, you've thought it through and you're you're thinking ahead of I can land there, I can land there, I can land there. You always have a you always have it out. Enough of the preaching, guys. Just stay safe out there. Enjoy your flights and have a great time. I appreciate you watching the video and coming along. And until next time, guys, I love you. I love you very much. See you in the skies, guys. Have a good one. Scary Barry out. See ya.